Hi everyone, today is Monday. I just filmed the outro for last week's vlog, but now I'm in a different point, angle of view. <laughs> so yeah, today is Monday, March 12th, and this week is gonna be intense. I just finished um, taking Giovanni to the airport, so now um, I need to prepare, finish my response to the reviewers for the paper I have to hand in and uh, this week as well I need to make some preparations for Torch. I also wanted to revamp my resume a little bit so I'm gonna start looking for a part-time here in Montreal. In addition to that I need to start working for the presentation for my oral exam which is gonna be the first week of April on April 6th. So yeah it's gonna be uh, I want to say a relaxing week, but it's not going to be a relaxing week because Torch is on Saturday and in addition to helping out with social media, I said I would help out with preparations and decorations and I haven't done anything because last week was my comprehensive exam, so my written part, so I, I didn't do anything. So I need to catch up on things this week. So I think it's going to be a very interesting week. <laughs> so that's it. Let's get into this vlog. Morning! At least another morning for me. Today is March 13th, so today is a Tuesday. And I forgot I said I would go to Ukam, so I jumped in the shower, got dressed, and I'm ready to go to Ukam because I am going to a humanitarian seminar. It's more of a working lunch where uh, many people from UGAM that are working in the humanitarian sector, as I am, um, are going to talk about their research or their jobs or whatever it is they are particularly doing as of now. And they're going to share it with the whole community of humanitarian work researchers. So that's what's going to happen today. This time I'm just going to go and listen to, I think it's Olivier, I forgot his last name, who's going to talk to us about his project. I think he's a professor at UCAM. I think so. I'm not sure. But I'm going to find out today. So let's head on to UCAM. Hello! I'm back from UCAM. I was at UCAM for about four hours-ish. Something like that. The thing is, I worked a little bit at my office. I actually forgot my office key. I'm so smart, right? So I forgot my keys, but I managed to go and print my resume. I don't know if I told you, but I wanted to print copies of my resume because tomorrow there's a job fair for um, international students um, and projects that are more of cultural promotion and je choisis Montreal and la vitrine and so I'm gonna take my resumes there and see if I can get a part-time job and apparently he also wants to talk about his day. Greece. That's what I have to live with. So yeah I've managed to do that and I went to the seminar. It was a very good seminar, I have to say. It really opened up my mind to a level that it's like when you hear something and you you go like, "Oh, wow, that's right." So the student who was presenting, he was talking about his research project and his research project is about education at refugee camps and I'm um, actually part of my project deals with the displacement of people because of conflicts and so when he mentioned that when there's a conflict, especially an armed conflict or even a disaster, the first thing that we think about, and particularly in that context of armed conflict, is to get people out, to get them safe. After that, we want to get them healthcare. And after that, we want to help them go back to establishing their place, go back to a real shelter that they can call their own. And after that, it's 
education and he talked about how education is an important part that we should actually move right after the armed conflict happens so that those people who are displaced don't have the disadvantage that they are not educated and so they won't have to deal with things that that don't that could put them in a disadvantage disadvantage position like if you don't know a certain thing if you don't know how to talk if you don't know how to read people can actually take advantage of you and that's something that you don't want to happen especially with these populations that have been already gone through a lot and he also talked that girls in particular have problems with education because in refugee camps you don't necessarily have access to sanitary pads for when you're on your period and that that makes the girls miss out on a full week of class and since those classes are more advanced or they're going in a faster pace because they missed out already while traveling to their new location and imagine just losing every month one week of school I couldn't even imagine doing that and and it's it's something that we take for granted we're so lucky that we have access to those things and we don't even think about those things and when we see it in this type of context it's it's mind-blowing in a way because you never would have thought that would be an excuse or a valid obstacle for not getting your education so it was a very interesting talk and how he proposed to counteract this problem was with educating by text message and so they use WhatsApp to bring education in refugee camps of Somalia 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 yes for refugees from Somalia so yeah that's it for now anything else you want to add Greece Yeah. Hey guys, it's actually Wednesday and I am on my way to Concordia to see the rooms for Torch and after that I'm gonna go to the mini job fair so yeah and it's snowing look at that look at all that Today is Saturday and I'm actually waiting for the train 
so it's 7.27. I was supposed to be there at 7.30, but apparently I'm not gonna make it. So I need to put a little, some things together, uh, mainly decorations. I call it setup, but they call it decorations. Um, yeah, and wait for the participants to arrive at 9 a.m. I'm still hopeful that we are gonna get on time, but not on time at 7.30, but before the participants arrive, for sure. I think we will. It's just that the strain is taking like forever. Someone is falling asleep right beside me. Apparently, every time I turn on the camera, I want to talk to you guys as well. So today is Monday, and it's 10 a.m. as I'm speaking to you now. You're going to have this video in a couple of hours. I just finished some things I had to do this morning. I know I didn't talk to you in a long time, I think, since Thursday or something like that. So I managed to go to another seminar in humanitarian logistics. That was not part of the working launches organized by OCA. That one was a girl who was working on a problem really similar to what I am working on. In, additional, in addition to that, I was working bits and pieces trying to put together the um, final details for Torch. So we had Torch on Saturday. It was a very cool and intense experience. I'm probably gonna make a video about the experience at Torch and probably I will release it by Thursday so keep an eyes out for that video and yeah basically it was a really busy week I was hoping to be a bit more relaxed but I don't I don't know if that is gonna be possible anytime soon because my exam, my oral exam, because I already finished a written exam, but I still have the oral exam to do. So let's see how that goes. So I hope you have a lovely day, a very productive week, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!